<clears throat> well, uh, the reformers understood this. Believers understood this for over 1,800 years from the time of Christ. But in the last 150 years, uh, Christians have lost through uh, theological antiquity, really, uh, what it is to have a Christian nation. Um, <clears throat> this book, Christian Nation Now, uh, shows the theological basis for it, the, the Christian mandate for this. Many believe that that's not uh, where we should focus. Uh, this book doesn't say uh, that that's the only place Christians should focus, but it does talk about the institutions that God has ordained. If I was to ask you, how many institutions has God ordained? Most believers don't have a clue. Uh, the Bible says there's only three institutions, no more, no less. Uh, the first was the family institution, the second was the state institution, and the third was the church. All three of those institutions have, not, none of them have been abdicated. All three of them are ordained and still to be holy as unto God. And you'll see this uh, in Christian Nation Now. Christian Nation Now is not a small book. It's over 800 pages. But it lays out a blueprint how a nation can be taken over for the kingdom of God, how, how many of them were centuries past. It's written by a person who has a pseudo name, Patrick Henry, after the Patrick Henry in the American War of Independence. In fact, most of the writers in those days, Patrick Henry, Thomas Jefferson, Samuel Adams, and many of them, uh, wrote with pseudo names simply because of the danger of, of, uh, of, of what they were writing about. And uh, the author of this has used a pseudo name as well. Uh, but it is indeed a revolutionary book. It gives first a, the theological mandate from Genesis to Revelation, Old as well as New Testament. Um, it shows it historically. It confirms it from a historical standpoint. Uh, and then it shows the mandate for God's civil law and how a nation is so much better. Uh, and then finally it shows God's strategies, seven strategies that God has laid out in the scriptures, in the Bible, both Old and New Testament, how Christians can actually Christianize a nation. Matthew Henry was the best known commentator when uh, the United States of America was founded. And in Matthew 28, in the last of the book there, he commentates saying that God wants us to Christianize every nation in the world. And uh, how can that be done? How is the church relevant to it? How is the family relevant? And how is the civil law and the state relevant to it? Um, this book goes into all of that. Christian Nation Now, you will not have read another book like it. Believe me, it's uh, unbelievable.